darn hooligan innovators coming over here and making me do things that I don't really want to do. We could have been friends. Be nice. But no, you made me do this. That was on you. Not me. Do they not drop crossbows anymore? Is that like not a thing? Do they they've they changed that. Shame. In this episode, I have like two, three things that I want to do. One, I want to make this look nicer because right now it kind of seems like it's just in this spot. It doesn't entirely look nice. It doesn't really fit in with everything. So I want to change all the poles and stuff down here towards the bottom to kind of make it look like it's more part of this uh, uh, part of part of this place. Um, I want to expand all of the uh, the foliage and stuff, try to expand it onto the ceiling a little bit with all of the glowberries, which means I'm going to have to get a bunch of glowberries that I don't have. Ah, this side looks pretty fine. I do want to start adding in some decorations that could fit, like giant mushrooms and stuff. I really want this little section to be all foresty and look, look nice. I want it to be all foresty and look nice. And then I want to start on a house which will be right here in this little area i might take this area and push it back a bit uh, but i do want to build a little a little itty bitty house uh kind of right here in this area so we're fairly close to where another portal is but like kind of right in this this area right here i want to put a nice little house and i also do want to explore the nether Are they hitting me? They were hitting me. Oh, oh. I forgot that it's not like poison and you don't just live, you die. Got my levels. Got a bunch of the wood. I have a bunch of nether quartz. Now it's time to go back and hopefully live to see a see the enchantment table. But in order to have an enchantment table, I need to first have a house. So I need to collect some sand. I need to collect some wood. I need to collect a bunch of other resources to actually build the house that I want. Surprisingly, while I was doing this entire thing, the watering trader came by and actually sold me dripstone, which is one of the materials I don't have, but it's also farmable. So I can just set up this little farm and farm dripstone and it'll be fast and it'll be great and I can get loaded with dripstone all the time. Or so I thought. I spent like two hours just playing the damn game and only like one piece of dripstone actually spawned. It was stupid. It was insane. After that, I decided to be an adventurous little man and decided to go into the caves where I found some deep dark and I triggered a shrieker on accident. I was scared. The warden was kind of come and get me and I was not happy. But what did make me happy is I found a goat and I was able to actually get both of their horns. Sadly, it was both the same horn and it wasn't one of the good ones. It's just a bad one. They're not great. Not great. As night falls, let me catch you up on everything that I've been doing. One, uh, getting more bone meal because I need a lot of bone meal for spreading the moss. Two, getting food. Hello, food. And a cow. You have a cow now. How now, brown cow? Uh, we also got some dripstone from a wandering trader that just so happened to come on by. Uh, so I planted this dripstone here, so now I don't have to go and get some. But I will say that this stuff takes forever to grow. Absolutely forever to grow. I don't know what it is that's making it take forever to grow, but this dripstone has been sitting here for a couple of hours, and I've only gotten two extra pieces of dripstone. Nope. Hey, time. Oh, no, don't hurt the pigs. I'm gonna kill them. Do you want me to get rid of you? No, don't do it. I think I have to get rid of this. 
I have to get rid of this sheep. I have to get rid of them. I'm sorry. I guess I'm going to fill up my inventory with the blocks that I believe I'm going to need. And we are going to build, hopefully, what becomes a decent looking house. And a bit after an hour of building, this is where we are. And honestly, I'm, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. It's it's a nice, it's a nice little place that kind of it, it fits in uh, with all the greenery and stuff with the floor. I gotta get some more bone meal to see if we can extend this a bit and have the greenery kind of uh, wrap around. Maybe add a little bit of a, a farm or something on that side. That that actually might look pretty nice. I think it fits in nicely and it's not too dark. It's light. It's easily eye catching, which is what I wanted. The roof kind of blends in a little bit, but I think adding the lichen to make it glow helped. Now, one thing I've noticed that I don't know if it was caught in the time lapse at all. But one thing I've noticed is that up there slime have been spawning there has been one or two that i've seen uh spawn up there so maybe we have a slime chunk nearby i could that's nice i'm a fan i'm actually quite proud of this little little build that we made for ourselves. now the roof is something that i was really kind of trying to challenge myself on because i didn't want it to be a solid color i didn't want it to be just a slab of stone so I, I spent some time adding in a bunch of different textures and a bunch of different colors mainly sticking with the greens and grays that kind of blended into everything else i think it looks really nice i think i think it looks nice Let's see if we can get an interior done so one thing i really want to do is make an easier way to get up and down this massive tunnel but i need a faster way to get up and down because i one i blew through so much food and two it just takes a long time to get down here if i ever need to go up to the surface and i also have to climb up and down this ladder now as of right now i still want to keep this scaffolding but honestly i might get rid of it i don't know i don't have anything on me i like it I like having access up to the second floor. So as of right now, I think I'm going to keep it. But yeah, so this is kind of what I've been. This is kind of what I've been doing. I've been sort of decorating this house the best I can. Obviously, we have a nice little kitchen area with our crafting and our furnace. And then we have some random crap. But uh, putting this aside because I kind of I've been doing this house for a while. And honestly, I will say it looks hella good. Uh, I would like to add a water elevator, maybe in like this little area here, a nice little water ele elevator that goes all the way up and then we can come all the way back down. So like this side would be up, this side would be down, be nice and easy. Actually, I don't even really need magma for the way down, do I? I can just drop and I need to get kelp. So 15, 15, 117. Now I have to go do the stupid thing of digging straight down. Uh, but I should be okay. I mean, it should be fine. Okay, now I need to go find where that point's gonna be. I have a feeling it's gonna be somewhere. Oops. I have a feeling it's gonna be somewhere over here. It's gonna be our dig down point. All right. Now let's see if I die. Hey, here. So let's see, this one is... 14, 18. We lived, and there's really nothing that bad. So now I have to go do it again. Time to go collect some bunch of kelp. Do da, do da. I just don't need a little bit of help. Oh, do da, do. Bubbles? Oh, there's bubbles. Eee.
Yeah, that is a lot faster to get up here. Well, I mean, our area is all the way over there. So I think I have to spend some time to take down all of this and move it down here. But this should hope this. No, it's not. Hopefully this will speed up a bunch of time. Okay, I'm going to go set up my storeroom and I'm going to transfer all of this stuff down and I'm going to try to get my animals down there too and set up a bit of a farm and a little bit of a field for my crops. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Hold on. I knew it. I heckin knew it. I wasn't going crazy. I saw a slime and that's a big one. So we got a slime chunk somewhere in here is that that that's a slimy boy hi after one hour and a quick nap later uh the inside of the house i'm pretty sure is now done uh we have the outside of the house it looks beautiful uh the inside of the house also now looks kind of nice we got a nice little rug, we got our bed, we have our clock so we know what time it is because we're in a cave and I can't see the sun. Uh, we have all of our, kind of the main, just like two things here, you know, furnace, kitchen table, stone cutter, kind of all I need. Uh, we have some bookcases and amethyst and kind of an empty bookcase looking thing. Uh, but then I also decided to put glow berries everywhere as kind of the light. Those are the only thing that is giving this room light are these glow berries and it's more than enough light to keep it going. And I kind of did the same thing down here. I added some glow berries in the ceiling. These ones are stuffed by strings so they don't grow. There's a torch over here, but don't look at it. Yeah, it all looks nice. It's nice little, nice little cozy little build. Also, I planted our uh, dripstone down here and it is growing so much faster. Like so much faster. I don't know if it's because we're down a certain level or because we're actually in a cave, but it, yeah, it's, it's growing a lot faster. Now, the next thing I got to do, well, there's a couple things I got to do, but the next thing I want to do is I want to put in a farm kind of in this area. Well, that's, well, that's all the dirt I have. Uh, I'm going to need to go get, go get some more to finish covering up the whole area. And there's some over there. I'm coming for you, dirt. For our little, little farm area. So it's all nice, nice and good looking. And there's no good angle on it because of the scaffolding that's in the way. Why did I build the scaffolding? I mean, I get why I built it. It's an easy way up and down. But it's just so massive. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's not gonna be there anymore. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this scaffolding. That's going to be my next, my next project. We made a lot of progress today. It doesn't seem like it's a lot. And when you put all the, 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 the little pieces together, it's not going to be a lot. We made a lot of progress today. We, have our, we made our house. We got a little farm. I'm going to get rid of this scaffolding. That looks a lot better. <laughs> having it gone, having like a line of sight to see everything and you can see the purple of the portal over in the corner you have the farm that's all nice and lit up you have the house which also looks all nice and like a little bit of lit up you can see the whole greenery of everything on the top that okay i don't know what i was thinking when i wanted to put the scaffolding in but this is a lot better now the next project i want to do is a it's a rough one. It it's it's a rough one because it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of energy, but I want to get some villagers from all the way over there where the villages, bring them here, set up a little villager breeder or something. And then I want to cart them down the hole, put an iron farm in the ceiling, which will probably is probably going to be a terrible idea. And then have a lava pit here that the golems will fall down and go into the pit. And then we'll have a bit of a collection area all set up. But that's the current plan. Terrible shack has been built. An absolutely terrible shack has been built. It is the middle of the night on a new moon. A tiny little shack, tiny little terrible shack has been built. 
slime. <laughs> this is great, and also it's probably gonna get very annoying with having slimes just appear places. But I mean, hey, you know, free slime. I'm, I'm with it. Oh, this is working. This is gonna make this so much easier. Oh, I love this so much. It's, it's not gonna be a pain in the ass to get things back. This is, look at the cow. Look at the cow back there. Look at this freaking ridiculous. Tim with the villager, he's like running on the water. It's kind of ridiculous. You're being difficult, sir. You're gonna do this. You're gonna be happy. Goodbye. I hope he doesn't die. I know you saw your friend drop down that pit, drop in the hole. It's fine. Get in the hole. <laughs> you make me mad. <laughs> I thought this was going to be so much easier, but trying to get this dude to drop down this one. Oh, you're difficult. I'm going to have to break this. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break the house. I'm going to break the house. I don't care anymore. No, come here. I didn't want to break it, but you made me break it. So. As of right now, you two are going to be in this pit. And you are going to sit here and you are going to like it. Okay? That's where you will stay. There. You're protected. <sighs> that was harder than I thought it was going to be. There's another slime. And it's gone. Oh, no, there it was. Okay, I think I'm gonna save the iron farm and everything for next time. This video has been going on a while. Uh, it's also pretty packed full of a lot of stuff compared to the first episode um, where we only just did like this and like the portal. Um, but yeah, we have our house. We have the farm. We have villagers. We have a better way up. The scaffolding is gone. God, I hate that scaffolding now that it's gone. God, I really did not like it. Why did I ever build it? I kind of have an idea for what to do over here. Um, and I just thought about it. So maybe I'll do, do um, something with that next time because I, I just thought of an idea for this area because it's kind of off to the side and I'm never really going to use it for anything. But yeah, I think we're going to take the iron farm and that's going to be our main focus for next time because I kind of did a lot in this episode and I really overstretched myself. Um, and one thing I didn't ever really mention is that I've set up the enchantment table. It's, it's, it's down here. It took a lot to actually get like all these books and stuff because I don't have cows besides the two that I now have, but I didn't have any cows. So I actually spent a lot of time over in the village trading and getting bookcases from the one librarian that we have over there and getting a bunch of bookcases and was able to enchant my pick and only got efficiency four. What a rip. Yeah. Yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot. I'm, 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 I'm proud. I'm proud of this little area that we have. Nope. Nope. You suck. Ouch. Ouch. You suck. I hate you so much. Yeah, we got a little area. We have a nice little area.